Why do I insist on embarrassing myself? Hey guys! Today we are taking a stroll through memory lane and I am finally answering your requests to do the how I did my makeup in high school tag. So, super excited, let's get into it. I haven't been out of high school for a super long time. I graduated in 2012, so I have been out of high school for a little over four years now. Um, so everything that I used, I pretty much remembered and they still make, so I was still able to go to the store and pick it up. So I did buy everything that I used in high school, like the actual ish guys. This is the real deal. Okay. Let me forewarn you. I knew absolutely nothing about makeup in high school. This is the Maybelline dream matte mousse foundation. This is in the shade honey beige. It is medium four and way too dark for my skin tone but guys this is what I wore. We're not going to be applying any sort of primer or anything because what is primer? Let's get this out of the way. I also apparently didn't believe in brushes or didn't know that you could use brushes. This stuff is like I don't even know like chocolate mousse. This is what it looks like. Oh my Okay, well, we're doing it. Oh my word. You have got to be kidding me. Who let me do this? <laughs> okay. Well. Whatever. My gosh, going for the gold. So I wasn't a total imbecile. I did blend this down my neck as well. Most days. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's about where that would stop. Why did anyone let me do this? Maybe as I got older, I realized this is too dark and went down a couple shades. But I remember buying this specific shade, like it is engraved into my brain forever. And we're not gonna set this or anything. And honestly, it's not very sticky. So I mean, even though I had no idea that you are supposed to set your foundation, this kind of dries almost down to a powder. So it's not bad at all. Go me. Okay, next our eyes. And I was a total fan of super dark, raccoon eyes. I remember using this CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus like literally every day of my life. I did not go anywhere without raccoon eyes. Nowhere. Which is embarrassing, but it happened. And now I'm gonna put it on the internet for everyone to know. Also, I will insert some pictures if I can figure out how to do that. If you're interested in a little Macy throwback, So this is the perfect point plus you twist it and then the eyeliner comes out of the top and then you have this little smudger on the back. It is a nice eyeliner. So we're just going to take this in a pretty thick line right across the top lashes and the bottom. You gotta connect it, you know, get the look. And I would talk to you while I'm doing this, but I can't talk and do my eyeliner. Sometimes I even forget to breathe while I'm doing eyeliner. So. Yes, queen. Slay. There's one eye. Who doesn't want to make their tiny eyes look even tinier with raccoon eyeliner? So then after I would do my eyeliner, not even kidding you, I would do eyeshadow and then put eyeliner back on top. Don't ask, just watch, just listen. Don't judge. This is what I uh, actually used for my eyeshadow. This is a Rimmel Quad. This is in 002 Smoky Brown Glam Eyes Quad K. 
And uh, let me just let me just show you. This is legitimately the actual quad that I have owned for probably six years. I don't know that I should be putting it on my eyeballs. Don't try this at home. But we're gonna do it. And like I said, I didn't have brushes, so I would just use the sponge applicator that came with it. This is not the one that came with it. This is from another palette that I have. Um, but it's the only sponge applicator that I have not thrown away yet, so we're gonna use it. So what I would do is take this shade, so much pan, and put that all over my eyelids. All over. Cause I'm feeling fancy. We're just gonna pack it on there, slap it on there. Cause you know you didn't wake up when your mama told you to. Next, I would take this top shade, this dark brown here, and put it in the outer corners. Nice and sloppy. Then we're gonna go in with this top highlight shade. We don't do our brows cause we don't know what that is. We're still gonna do a brow bone highlight. Cause the quad tells us to. Awesome. Then when I was done with eyeshadow, I noticed, oh hey, the eyeshadow got on my eyeliner and it's not dark enough. Why? So I would literally every single day go back in with this eyeliner. I'm not even kidding you. To make it darker and blacker. I don't know why I thought I couldn't do shadow first and then put this on top of it. But no. I had to do eyeliner, eyeshadow, eyeliner. <sighs> I'm depressing myself. Okay, next we're gonna use this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. This is in the orange tube, although I think the packaging was a little bit different then. This is the mascara that I used just solely because this is what my mom used. I was like, oh. It must be good. She knows what she's doing. And it is good. It's actually, it actually is a good mascara. So I was not mad at it. I'm not going to curl my lashes. We don't have time for that. We got to get to school. Perfect. And I don't really think I knew what bronzer was but I did have blush and let's be honest that's okay because I didn't need bronzer with this foundation okay but I would use this this is the Maybelline fit me blush in light rose and I did use the brush that it came with and we don't blend this back we just put it right here And a lot of it. So much blush. Mmm, cute. Now I'm just gonna take this EOS lip balm, give a good old coat on my lips. I never wore lipstick. I still really don't ever wear lipstick, but I always, always, always had a chapstick. My mom used to make homemade, all natural lip balms, so I always had a lip balm. Lip balm was my ish. Get a little fruity with my hair. And whoa, blast from the past. Circa 2010, Macy. What's up? So yeah, this is how I would do my makeup in high school. Learned some things since then. The eyeliner is bad. I think the foundation is probably, probably the worst. Also, didn't ever touch my brows. So... So thank God the world decided that brows needed makeup too. <sighs> this is so depressing. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to do this tag, please, please, please do it and let me know down in the comments if you do it because I would love to watch your video. This is so much fun. I just feel like I'm looking at a younger version of myself. It's kind of weird. Um, but it, it was super, super fun. So thank you guys so much. Please subscribe. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye.